Hello you guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm with Blake. Hi. And starting the weekend vlog a little early to early this week, because it's actually Friday morning, bright and early. It's 9 a.m. Blake and I left the house at 8, which is can't remember the last See, time I did that. Mm -hmm. Um and we're going paddleboarding in we're in Malibu, going paddleboarding with one of my fave brands, Cotton On, you guys know that. And now we're just sitting in the car waiting to figure out where we're supposed to go because- We need a buffer, we're like, we don't know. Does anyone else ever do that where you like get somewhere? We're, we're also like five minutes behind. No, we were supposed no. to get here at 9, 9 15. No, so we're, we're five minutes early. seven minutes early. Perfect, so we got time to spare to sit in our car and decompress and chill before we go venture out. Can we'll I tell you a secret? Yeah. Um, I've only been in the water one time. What do you mean? I've only been in, in the Pacific Ocean once. What? And it was at Michelle's birthday last year. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, so other, other than, yeah, other than like my calf, up to my but calf. But you've been in, in Florida water. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, I've lived here for four years and I haven't been in the ocean more than You know, I feel like that's a thing. Like, people are scared of the Pacific Ocean because it's dark. It's, also, it's cold. It's really cold. They, no, like, not in the it's summer. Like 70, it's like 75 degrees in the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, but I feel like in the it's summer like a, it's, it's warm. Like a, it's like a heated pool. Um, No? No. I don't think, I don't know. But I've only really been up to my ankle other than that one time at Michelle's. Well, this isn't even going to count because I feel like we're not even going to go in the water. We're just going to get on the paddle board. And if all goes as planned, but we won't go in the water. In? We won't. I've never fallen paddle boarding. Okay. But this is also oceanfront, which... What? I don't know. Well, when I go paddle boarding in the marina, okay. like, the marina's flat. Like, there's no waves. There's nothing. You just you just get on the marina. and you. Where do you get on in the marina? I did go to Mother's Beach. Okay. So the it's not even like a beach. It's like right, a little right. like, like a little like outspill of water. Mm -hmm. But you just like put your paddleboard on the water and, you, and then you stand you on, on and then you never touch the water ever again unless you want to. Do you to. get on with your knees or do you get on with your feet? I start with my knees. Ab okay. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and then I usually stay on my knees for about 35 minutes, okay. stand for about 15 and then get back on my knees. Okay. So that's <laughs> But you don't actually like touch the water. But if I've this is a bunch, if but, like, this is I've ocean never... entering, then the waves make it a bit tricky. A little sus. But I feel like I don't know. I can't even see the beach. I don't even know. What I know. The waves I don't know what's. Like. I don't know what's down there. So this is our car banter. No, yeah. uh, but you. So, but but my like point, you go in the ocean. A my lot. point is is that if we do this correctly, you still may have not not go in the ocean today. You might just be on yes. top of the ocean floating. I would love that. I would love that. But because I feel like I'm going to go with this. I feel like you like dunk your head in sometimes. Like I feel like I've seen you yeah, dunk your like head in. Yeah, like in the summer, like I swim. Okay. Like body surf in the in the. Like waves. I feel like we've been shooting or something and you got in the water to head under. Yeah. If no. it's warm. It's never warm. <laughs> it's never it's been warm. It never will be warm. It was never warm. Like I feel like it's warm. I'm looking it up. I'm looking, I'm it, looking up it up too. I'm looking it Not up. Not right now. Right now it's freezing. But I'm talking like August. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna. Her birthday was. Her, it wasn't that cold. But I'm saying like. That was when that got, dude got stung by yes, a stingray. Pacific Ocean temperature. S summer. I don't have any service. So I do. It's not, oh, 68 degrees. 68 degrees. <laughs> 68 degrees. I'm going to say, I'm going to say Atlantic right now. It's going to be like It feels warmer. 78. Uh, 84. <laughs> it's literally hot. I've literally never been to the Atlantic Ocean, so I just maybe don't have, maybe I'm just so used to this that like when it warms it's up, I don't care. I'm pretty sure, but I think Google's lying to us. Okay. I'm going to look up one more thing. I'm going to look up highest. Pacific Ocean temperature. Okay, but okay, but Pacific Ocean is very large. You have to do Los Angeles. Okay. Los Angeles Ocean. <laughs> Los Angeles. Like Pacific Ocean or Los Angeles Pacific beach Ocean water temp. Water temp. Okay. Because the Pacific Ocean is also like Oregon, which I would believe that, or like. What is the warmest Alaska. temperature of the Pacific Ocean? Um. Hawaii is also in the Pacific Ocean oh, is and it? their water's warm. What is the 
how the warm okay the warmest what is the warmest ocean water in california there we go we've never had 80 degree weather here uh la jolla the highest temperature in la jolla has been uh 78 oh i don't what like 50 years ago <laughs> yeah I don't, when the volcanoes were erupting or something okay um, all right okay that's fine. The ocean off of California is actually quite cold because of the California current carrying cold water from British Columbia south to the Southern California region. Summertime sea surface temperatures is uh, is warmer by a few degrees, though the water is still certainly very chilly. Google.com. Stand up. I don't even know if you guys can hear me through this waterproof case, but I only took the sweats off. Woo! She's doing it. A little post, mm -hmm. post paddle boarding <laughs> turmeric shot. Are you gonna do one? I'm gonna do one too. Yes, let's do it. Do you want, does everyone want one? Yeah. I got yeah. one. Cheers, Cheers, ladies. Cheers. To health and wellness. Oh, that, was, that, was really that, was, that wasn't bad at all. That was delicious. Unreal. I'm back. She's cleaning the dishes. I'm back from paddleboarding. And I want to take a nap. I'm so tired. The sun wore me out. Um, I don't know, I'm not complaining, but a day in the sun, like, if I could just shower and fall asleep right now, that would be literally the most ideal thing in the world. <laughs> but we made friends with, what? We made plans with friends. We made plans with friends to go get drinks because it's one of our friends last weekend in LA before they move. So, gonna get my butt up and get ready then we are headed to san diego tomorrow to pick up duke finally i'm pretty sure maybe in the last vlog that i did besides the one before my travel vlog like the weekly vlog so when we dropped duke off which i feel like was like three or four weeks ago now but we finally get the chance to pick him up so i'll be back in our lives thank god and then we're just gonna chill all weekend and not do much just kind of hang out so obviously I'll take you guys along for all of it but I need to get my butt out of bed and get ready go thank you all right hanging up this eucalyptus that we got from the farmers market you guys Usually we get Trader Joe's eucalyptus, but this smells so much better. Like, it's insane. It smells like a spa. It is so potent and so good. You're like, if this might be too in the way of our shower, I might have to trim it back and put some of it somewhere else, but oh my god, I'm Like, uh, am, I, am I supposed to just entertain here? Is this how we're starting this one? I'm happy to do so. We're going to San Diego. Uh, we're gonna see Duke. We haven't seen him in like two months. That is not true. It's been like three weeks. Two months, three weeks, same thing. Feels like two months. Um, yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah, we're all 
up to San Diego. We ended up grabbing drinks and hanging out with friends last night, and then we were in bed by like 9 p.m. But I was asleep by like 9:02. Probably won't vlog that much because we're just gonna hang out with my family and are actually gonna celebrate my birthday with them, even though my birthday was like two weeks ago. We're finally getting around to celebrating and visiting them. So, do you want? What do you want? Fry. Just a fry. <laughs> I'm afraid to. But yeah, that's it. In traffic. And we're in rapid fire questions. How well do you know me? We're going to answer at the same time. We're going to see how many you get right. Okay, ready? Favorite color? One, two. Orange. No. Why did I say orange? First of all, you have to wait until I say three, right, right. and then we say it together, right. and you're saying my favorite color. Right, yeah, I was, but I don't know why I said orange. All right, ready? Ready? Okay. Go. Favorite color? One, two, three. Blue. Pink. Okay, favorite food? One, two, three. Tacos. Sushi. Fuck. Right, um, if I could only live in one country and it wasn't America, one, two, three. Italy. Italy. That was easy. <laughs> um, uh, favorite foster dog we've ever had? One, two, three. Zuma. Zuma. <laughs> um, mm, mm. Dream car. One, two, three. Porsche. Porsche Cyan. You gotta be specific. Porsche. I got the brand. <laughs> um, what else is there? else did I do? If I wasn't um, an influencer full time, what would my dream job be? One, two, three. Event Inter planner. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know why I was going to say interior designer. Event planner. I would want to be an event planner. <laughs> trying to figure out how to style these curtain bangs that I got. If you missed the hair vlog, I did my hair, got it colored, but then I also got it cut with little curtain bangs. Still figuring out how to style it. I'm gonna go get my nails done. Not right now, but probably in a little bit. Um, this is, let me see if I can get it on camera. This is them. So I don't know if you guys can really see. I tried to do like, like the, I, what my vision was is I really wanted to do cute smiley faces, hence these two fingers right here. Um, but I felt like if I did it on every finger, that would be a little bit aggressive. So I only did it on my ring finger and I was like, Ooh, I'll do a cute matching French, but I really wanted like a more pastel -y, like vibrant yellow. And this just kind of looks like a mustard yellow. And also I feel like the yellows don't match like this. And then she, I don't know. And it's totally my fault because I feel like I had a vision in my head and my vision just didn't really pan out the way that I wanted to. I think they're really cute. I just am not obsessed, if you know what I mean. I don't know, but I also hate when people complain about their nails because half the time people complain about their nails. I'm like, those look so cute. What are you talking about? So I don't know. I kind of want to go in and redo them just because I do gel... Well, I started with Gel X a couple months ago when I first got my nails done, which are like tips that they basically put on your nails. And then I do a fill with bio gel or hard gel, whatever you call it. Like every place has a different name for it, but I fill it with that. So my nails usually last me like three and a half to four weeks. So while I think they're cute, I just don't think I can commit to them for like four weeks, if you know what I mean. I
Okay, ran my errands, got my nails done. I don't know, I'm just such a neutral gal, so I am much more happy to live with this for the next like three to four weeks than yellow and smileys. But in case you're wondering, well, actually, I forgot what I got. I got, I took a picture, because I knew I would forget. Um, one second. So I did one coat of the OPI bubble bath, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's like the sheer pink gel by OPI. And then I did two coats of the I Couldn't Bear Less, which is like the white bear stuff. So call me crazy, but it was only like 20 bucks to fix it and it literally took her 10 minutes. So it's really worth it. And then of course Sephora is like right next to the store so I had to go into Sephora because I really needed a new self tanner so I got the San Tropez Ex self tan express tanner I've been using I mean I'm sure you guys have noticed in the vlog I tried using the Bondi Sands pure because they so they just came out with this new pure line and I love Bondi Sands like I love their express and their aero foam especially their ultra dark is like chef's kiss so good um but they came out with this pure line and the pure line is like this supposed to be just a cleaner version i don't know of their self tanner and it doesn't have any of like the bronzer in it so when you put it on it's completely clear you can get changed doesn't get on your sheets which is so nice but it just fades so poorly like my hands and i don't know if you can see like my arms are so like splotchy and crackly which i'm just not a fan and it's like i just need to start fresh i need to deep scrub this tanner off by the end of this weekend and then i'm gonna go back in with the san tropez and i also got um this oh that's my that's my receipt um and then i also got this the gisu this is their infused polish primer you guys this is the best stuff for your hair i love gisu and i feel like this is one of their most underrated products but it is just this like hair primer it's this cream that you put in your hair and if you have frizzy hair like me this is just your lifesaver it's just like it doesn't leave it doesn't have any weight in your hair super weightless super hydrating and it just makes your feel, hair feel like so silky and smooth and hydrated and frizz free without being weighed down and I'm, it is just like one of my hair obsessions I'm obsessed with this I don't know why more people don't talk about it and then I wanted this this was like one of those in aisle purchases I got the Ola Hendrix glow glow 20h dark spot toner i've heard so many people rave about this it sounds so good it's just like a little toner that you use on your face but i have a lot of other toners that i like so we'll see how this one holds up but this is my little sephora haul i made a little roast chicken i think we may have overcooked it because the tomatoes are a little burnt but we used richie's mom's recipe it's like a rosemary artichoke chicken but Tried to add sun dried tomatoes and a little crispy, but it's okay, it'll still be delicious. Perfect way to end our Sunday and this little vlog. Also, perfect way to end a Sunday.